So today I'm here to talk to you about this thing called religion. The dangers of religion and seeking ma'at in our lives. Before I go any further, I'm going to ask you all to make a circle with your fingertips and read what you see in the circle on the, on the wall. What does it say? The space inside this circle represents my realm of knowledge. All that I think I know about whatever I think I know is depicted right here within this circle. I must keep in mind that there is more to know than what is within the circumference of my awareness. Okay? Now, listen, I, I, I started using this before I do all of my teaching because we have a tendency to reject what we don't know. And as a teacher, my job is to bring information to you that you don't already know. If I'm only saying what you already know, then I'm not teaching you anything. Therefore, I'm not doing my job as a teacher. But the problem is, we have this thing in the back of our mind called a reticular activating system. And the information that you have recorded on it, you think it's truth. And the reason why you think it's truth is because you believed your teachers. For example, what your parents taught you. You know, your parents did not mean to teach you wrong, so they taught you right, but they didn't teach you accurately. You grab what I'm saying? You sure you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to, I know you want to get to talking about my parents now. Okay. All of our parents meant well. But most of our parents taught us what was taught to them, which was taught to their parents, which was taught to their grandparents, and so forth. You see? So they, didn't, they never stopped to validate or verify. You know? They, in other words, they didn't exercise critical thinking. And besides, many of them couldn't read. So they took what the preacher said. And whatever the preacher said, that became their reality, their cognitive reality. You see? So when, when, when a, a great grandmaster teacher like Dr. Malefi Asante comes along or Ray Higgins or some of our other scholars and says something outside of your circumference of awareness, it might make us a little uncomfortable. So I'm telling you now, I'm going to go outside your circle tonight. Okay? Now, some of you may know quite well some of the stuff I'm saying, and I may come to that one thing that you don't know about. Well, I don't know about that part right there. <laughs> Okay, don't throw the whole thing away because <laughs> you, you got stuck on that one point. That's right. Grab me. Make note of it and go check it out. Okay? Don't say, don't say well, this is what Dr. Hagen's teaches. That, that's, that's an insult to a teacher. That's right. Don't, don't, don't regurgitate what you hear someone say. Go validate it or invalidate it so that you'll know. Okay? Yeah, it's so, so important. Now, why do I do what I do? The whole reason why I came out of the womb of Daisy Marie Higgins is so I could do the work that I'm doing. So the aim of this lecture tonight is to begin the process of undoing or reversing ideas and concepts that have been programmed into the minds of our people that have caused us to adopt a cognitive reality. Now, notice how, oh, what happened to it up here? It just, okay. Okay, that have caused us to adopt a cognitive, and if that happens again, let me know, okay? Because I, I can't see behind me, and I want y'all to see what I'm saying, okay? Uh, it, the, what was been, what's been programmed into the minds of our people have caused us to adopt a cognitive reality, cognitive reality that has resulted in our loss of contact with what is real, what's factual, what is historical, and what's spiritual. Most of our people have no idea, okay, there it goes again, huh? Most of our people have no idea with what is real. We like fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I found out that a lot of our people honestly are, are offended that I take away the mysticism mm -hmm. in their belief system. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, if I was to tell you how to get a check in the mail from nobody, 